Vespers, evening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O light serene of God the Father's glory, to you, O Christ, we sing. And with the evening star at hour of sunset, our worship bring. To Father, Son, and God's most Holy Spirit, eternal praise is due. O Christ, who gave you life, the world gives glory and thanks to you. Lord, let my prayer rise before you like incense. O Lord, I call on you, hurry to my help, listen to my voice when I call. When I make my prayer, let it rise like incense before you. When I raise my hands, let it be like evening sacrifice. Set a guard on my mouth, Lord, a watch upon my lips. Do not let my heart turn to evil thoughts, to the planning of the wicked deeds, to alliance with wrongdoers. Let me not share in their, de in their delights. Let the just man strike and rebuke me out of kindness, but sinners shall never anoint me with oil, for I will be an ally in their plans. When they fall into the hands of harsh judges, they will see how kind my words were. Like fragments of spoil after digging, their bones will lie scattered round the mouth of the underworld. To you, Lord, to you my eyes are turned. I take refuge in you. Preserve my life. Protect me from the trap they have laid for me. Save me from the snares of the wicked. Let them be caught in their own nets, all of them, while I pass by in safety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, let my prayer rise before you like incense. You are my refuge, Lord, my heritage in the land of the living. My voice cries out to the Lord. My voice cries out its entreaty. I pour out lamentation in his sight. I proclaim my troubles before him. When my spirit is failing within me, still, Lord, you know my paths. On the road I was traveling, they set up a trap for me. I looked about me and saw there was no one beside me to help. I have nowhere to flee and no one will miss me. I have cried to you, Lord. I have said, you are my refuge, my share in the land of the living. Listen to my call for help, for I am crushed down. Lead my spirit from prison so that I may praise your name. The upright will gather around me because you have restored me. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. You are my refuge, Lord, my heritage in the land of the living. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, therefore God has highly exalted him forever. Jesus Christ, although he shared God's nature, did not try to cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself took on the form of a slave and became like a man, not in appearance only, for he humbled himself by accepting death, even death on a cross. For this, God has raised him high and given him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bend in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, and every tongue will proclaim, Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, therefore God has highly exalted him forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Romans. How rich are the depths of God, how deep his wisdom and knowledge. 
and how impossible to penetrate his motives or understand his methods. Who could ever know the mind of the Lord? Who could ever be his counselor? Who could ever give him anything or lend him anything? All that exists come, comes from him. All is by his name and for him. All is by him and for him. To him be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How great are your works, O Lord. How great are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have made them all. How great are your works, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. How great are your works, O Lord. Foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my salvation. For he has shown me such favor, me his lowly handmaiden. Now all generations will call me blessed, because the Mighty One has done great things for me. His name is holy, his mercy lasts for generation after generation for those who revere him. He has put forth his strength, he has scattered the proud and conceited torn princes from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. He has remembered his mercy as he promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Prayers and Intercessions Glory be to the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as we humbly pray. Lord, be with your people. Almighty Father, bring justice to our world, that your people may live in the joy of your peace, Lord, be with your people. Bring all peoples into your kingdom, that all mankind may be saved. Lord, be with your people. Give to married people the strength of your peace, the guidance of your will, and the grace to live together in constant love. Lord, be with your people. Be the reward of all who have given us their help, and grant them eternal life. Lord, be with your people. Have mercy on those who have lost their lives through warfare or violence, and receive them into your rest. Lord, be with your people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord God, since by the adoption of grace you have made us children of light, do not let false doctrine darken our minds, but grant that your light may shine within us, and we may always live in the brightness of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.